Alright, so after several failed attempts of trying to get into Gideon's at Disney Springs, people acting as if Mickey Mouse wiped his ass or jizzed in the fucking cookies there, waiting five goddamn fucking hours to get a cookie. Bullshit. Get off Mickey Mouse's dick. Fuck that. We're going to the other Gideon's. And, uh, so we're gonna go in and just have a look at the other Gideon's. And so for all of you people who are fed up with waiting for four and a half hours, five hours for a cookie from uh, Disney Springs, here's your answer. Looks like a little food hall, Gideon's Bakehouse. Right here, 3201, whatever the fuck the name of the street is. Fancy meats. Uh, show us your meats. And here it is, Gideon's. It's actually like a stand. Check it out. This is pretty rad. And here are some look, it's a close look at their cookies. Awesome. Well, that's it. If you want Gideon's, don't want to wait in line, you can even call ahead and have them make you whatever, which is what we did. We just walked in and grabbed it. The name of this place is called Weston Market. Neighbors Retail and Cocktail. <laughs> Look at this. The Neighbors Cock. <laughs> Retail and Cock. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's where the other Gideon's is. And we're gonna try out their uh, cakes and stuff. A couple of their cookies too. And behold, the uh, highly sought after Gideon's Bakehouse cookie box. Look at that. Delicious. Delicious things await. We will see about that. And look how they're nicely wrapped up. That's huge. Good lord, if you turn it upside down, he starts breaking it. Oh wow, what is that? Look at that. What kind is this? It's so uh, amazing. Pistachio, chocolate chip nut or something like that. Wow. I got this one. That's Ooh, cookies and cream. That's cookies and cream? We're going to try them on it. Oh, nice. And that's another cookies and cream. And chocolate chip. Chocolate. I want to try the cookie from Gideon's. I want to try. That's a chocolate chip cookie from Gideon's. <laughs> I want to try the cookie. All right. What does the cake look like? And this is the cake that we got. It's like a pride cake. Yeah, it's a pride cake. Ginger. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's getting here. Yeah. Wow. This is what I told you. Beautiful. Let's put it back in the refrigerator and let it yeah. solidify it's here. So pretty. <laughs> Alright, so here is my first taste of a Gideon's cookie. This is cookies and cream. Let's mm -hmm. see how this how this uh, it like does. It tastes like an Oreo kind of. So that's what no Hmm. Has it wet? Mm, no. No, this is good. Mm -hmm. This is legitimately good. It's very chewy. Tastes like I'm biting into like Oreo crumbs. It's got a great taste to it. It's almost like in between cookie dough and cooked. Like a perfect like setting between that. It's it's actually fantastic. Mmm. Next one we're gonna try is pistachio toffee nut. Look at that. Oh, this looks good. Alright. Mmm. Mm. It is really soft. It's got a salty kick to it. 
Um, and it's got the crunch from the pistachios. All the flavors go together very well. The cooking is, you know, like bite resistance at all. It just, it's just soft as like butter almost. But the, uh, the crunch that you get from the pistachios and the chocolate chips, this makes it fantastic. It's a texture, a combination of textures and flavors that just make it a damn good cookie. All right, and we finally are going to try this here chocolate chip cookie. Look at this. Oh my God. This is a we chocolate chip that cookie. Piece I was going to have. Oh, I just picked the first one here. All right. Hmm. Whoa. The texture and everything just over to the top. Like, look at all these chocolate chips in here, man. Yeah, like, this is just, like, biting into, like, cookie dough, but it's not cookie dough. It's the closest thing to cookie dough that a cookie could possibly get to. Oh, my God. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. So we have the cake here, the pride cake. Oh my god, it's huge! Oh my god. Wow, dude. Dude. It's a big motherfucker. Well, we kind of got the uh, icing on this side messed up. It's stuck to the box. It was hot in the car. And we were in the car three hours with this freaking cake. Urgh to get from Orlando to Clearwater. Oh my God. Wow. Dude. Looky here. Oh my God. Are you gonna be able to eat all that? Are you gonna eat that yourself? I'm not eating this one. Okay, this is for the, the girls, yeah. We wanna just take a look at this from all angles. Mm. All right, and we're going in. Let's try a piece of this cake from uh, Gideon's. Mm. Not bad. The cake kind of tastes like a cornbread a little bit with an amaretto taste. I'm not big on the texture of the cake, really. The icing, though, is smooth as butter. Tastes really, really good. Um, not overpoweringly sweet. Um, I think this is a flavorful cake. I'm not a fan of the cake texture. I feel like it is a little bit too gritty, a little too rough. I would like it softer, but not too soft, just a, a tad bit, you know, on the soft side. It is more like a cornbread texture, but all in all, it's a great cake. Excellent. But uh, yeah, you can see here where the uh, cake is kind of like double ice. So there's a layer of the white frosting, white icing, and there's a layer. It's not like fondant. It's just a. This is a layer of like the colored icing. Um, it's it's really really nice, and it's got the nice icing in the middle. Now with this cake, um, it does taste great as long as you're mixing, you're balancing your icing with the cake parts. Uh, normally I would like to, I like to eat my cake and icing separate. You don't want to do that with this cake, um, but this is, this is perfect right here. This is kind of what you're looking for anytime you bite this cake, bite into this cake. All right, how you like that cake, honey? Mm. Mm. It's been a while since I heard you moan and groan like that. Gosh, I can only imagine if I were in another room hearing you say that. Mm. I would uh, be coming out with my uh, my Nerf gun. Mm. So, um, yeah, uh, Gideon's is, is definitely uh, the real deal, and, and I and I thought it was all hype. I wasn't uh, sold on it. I had to see for myself. And I was then gonna come out and tell you what I really thought of the place, but no, it's 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 exceptionally good cakes and cookies. Everything I, I had from them was awesome. So uh, 
yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, I would not wait five hours for Gideon's anything, but that's why I'm making this video is because there's, there's a way around that. And that's to go to the other Gideon's and maybe call in. How, how, how far ahead do you have to call in, honey, to uh, get them to make I'm something for like, you? Great. Well, you have to order at least six cookies. You have to order at least six cookies. Yeah, if you're or... ordering cookies, it has to be six. And if you're, um, but you could have just walked up and, and um, to that Gideon's and got cookies, no wait. And like you saw, there was just, nobody there. I ordered the cake because I didn't know if it was special for February because they posted on there. And said that it was back for February, and it was February 28th when I ordered it. So yeah. I didn't know if it was going to be available if I just wanted to walk in. So I just ordered an entire cake because I've been wanting a piece of that cake. And it's really good, and it's worth it. It's mm -hmm. um, way too much cake for us to eat. Yes. It's it's definitely really yummy. Um, and she said that they they are they have it back for now. They don't know for how long, but it's there. So it's a great cake. Yeah, that's a really good cake. But yeah, I think you have to order like between twenty four or forty eight hours in advance. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to, to do it to get stuff there. Um, I just did it because I wanted to not miss out on the cake, and I didn't know what was going away. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm I'm glad that we got to finally try Gideon's and. Hopefully, if you really want to go to Gideon's, the last thing you want to do, unless you are going to be at Disney Springs for, you know, half a day, um, go to the other one. But if you're going to be at Disney Springs, you're going to be bar hopping, you're going to be spending a good amount of time there, why not? But for us, we go into Disney Springs, we're there for maybe an hour or two, and then we're ready to bounce that just doesn't work and every time we've gone up there it's like a line around the building just to get on the list then it's hours and hours and hours after you're on the list um it's stupid like it's it's like what are some of the things you've seen with that what? with the lines for gideon's like i think you've had some absurd stories like five hours me yeah like So I mean, there I'm not I'm I'm covering it all basically. Yeah, I mean, like we've been told that they're cut off, um, you can't get in line, or yeah. that it's gonna be five hours, or you know that kind of thing. I mean, I think if you're gonna go to that one, you gotta get there early and just plan on hanging out at Disney Springs all day. And normally we're not early risers, so we kind of mm -hmm. like get up and maybe try to go like after we've checked out of our hotel on a Saturday afternoon after we've walked around Disney Springs already for an hour. And then, like, we're trying to go home, so we, you know, get there at, like, 2.30, 3 in the afternoon, and it's a five-hour wait. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, even if you get there at, like, 5, they won't even put you in line anymore. So, um, you have to get there early. You can't be left just showing up whenever you want to. Yeah, so, you um... Get there early and plan on staying, or just... This was kind of inconvenient, because you had to drive, like, 30 minutes away from Disney to go to this place, because it was more like downtown Orlando. So it was inconvenient, and it's probably not the whole Gideon experience, but... I got what, the waiting in line? That was... No, I mean, like, it's just really cool in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, so... Um, but I just didn't really care about the experience. I just wanted the cake. I want the damn cookie. I don't care about so, how your store looks. I, I can see that on, on YouTube. I have to because I, you know, had to order extra cookies and I had to order an entire cake. Rock and Sandy, go look at Adventures That Rock. They, they, they've got Gideon's videos where they can show you all the inside. But you want the cookies. Um, that's a good way to get them. The other Gideons. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed We'll see you in the next adventure. Thank you for checking out this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, everybody.